okay, Sunny, you could have at least told me where to go, just the docks, okay. Uh, was this the docks? Yeah, this was the docks, okay. They're probably around here somewhere, right? You pause your tracks and glance down at the note that was left for you back at the house. Hey, Marshy, we all went to the docks to help Leon set up his shop. Meet us there if you can, Sunny. <sighs> well, you could have at least given a little bit more than that. The docks are huge. I don't know if I'll ever find them. You pocket the note and continue walking. It doesn't take you too long before you stumble across some familiar faces. Oh, never mind. That was easier than expected. As you walk towards the group, you see Leon, Leon looking up at what you can only assume by the proud look on his face is his new shop. Sunny would be messing with some shelving, and Dia seems to be nodding off and grumbling to herself as she looks at the banners and starts to hang them up. Whoa, this looks really good, guys! Oh, ads? God dang it. Okay, I'll give you- I'll, I'll wait a little bit. <laughs> it, they're probably pre-roll ads. But, because they, they shouldn't be going off at 12 minutes in. That gives me time to eat my pizza. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Dia shoots you a look. No thanks to you. She then looks over at Leon. Can I go back to bed now? <sighs> Fine, you can take a break if that helps. With Leon's go ahead, Dia, d Dia does not hesitate to drop down, to drop down at a table and lay her head down. Uh, she grabs a newspaper that was left out on the booth and starts and stares at it. Who knows if she's actually reading it or just looking at the pictures? How long did it take you guys to set this up? Leon looks at you and thinks for a bit. Most of the boring stuff was done when you and Sunny were out exploring the city, he says. I got up, I got everyone up early today and I, to actually set up the physical shop. Oh. Well, I kind of feel bad for not helping. I need to fix my sleep schedule. Sunny chimes in. I was trying to wake you up for ten minutes, but you slept in like a rock. <sighs> Sorry. Is there anything I can still help with? Leon looks back at the shop as he thinks to himself. He seems to get an idea and perks up, turning back at you. Actually, I know exactly what you can do, he says. I still need a bit more inventory before I can o officially open for business. Uh, you want me to get some things for you to sell? Okay, what do you guys- what do you want? I'm thinking of selling various gemstones and crystals, but I only have a few left from my travels, he says. That's where you come in. I need you to go- I need you to go get me more. Uh, okay, uh, how do I do that? There are some mines on the other side- on the other end of Erwin. You should be able to find some good stuff there. Am I allowed to do that? Aren't there like professional miners for that kind of stuff? Well, I would get some professional miners to do it, but I can't afford that at the moment. So that is, that's why I'm sending you. Does she even know how to mine? Dia asks as she continues mine, to mindlessly stare at the newspaper. Pfft, how hard can it be? You just grab a, the thing and you get the, the rocks, right? It's easy, theoretically. I, I play Minecraft. <laughs> Leo notices your nervousness and sighs. <sighs> he goes to Dia and snatches a newspaper from her hands. Dia takes a moment to process what happened before looking at Leon and snapping at him. Hey, I was reading that! No, you weren't. You were just looking at the pictures. What? And Dia looks, at, looks away and pouts. No, he wasn't. Leon shoots a look at Dia before turning 
turning to you and handing you the paper. Here. There's this dread person dubbed the Fixer in town. They might be able to help you with your with the mining. You stare at the paper as it it's open to an article about said fixer. You don't really read the actual article, and instead focus on the picture attached, attached to it. The person in the picture looks pretty normal to you, except for one thing. Instead of the typical white in one's eyes, his eyes would be black. Whoa. You continue to stare at the picture for a short moment before Leon hesitantly hands you a bag of coins. Here, if he asks for payment, use this. Your gaze shifts towards the bag and then up to Leon. I thought you said you didn't have any money to pay someone. I said I couldn't afford professionals. The f this fixer is far more affordable. Alright, well, fair enough. I guess I'm off then. You take the bag the bag of coins from Leon and begin to make your way back into the, s the main city. Don't get distracted, Leon calls to you. I'll try not to! Good luck, Marshy! Sunny calls you as she waves you goodbye. Thanks! See you later! Coin pouch. Alright. We go. We gotta find this fixer guy. Where do we even start? Who knows? We'll find him eventually. Hello, guards. How are you doing on this fine evening? It's not evening. It's the middle of the day. Um, don't worry. I'm delusional. Uh, let's see if I can remember how to get to... Okay, maybe... Okay, we'll just head... Like, make our way towards the mines, maybe? And then maybe we'll run into this person on the way there. Uh, that sounds like a good idea. Right? Here we go. Okay. Now I know where I'm going. Leon said other side of the city is the mines, and I forgot to look for this person oh no i was so distracted oh he told me not to get distracted i already f i already failed that okay so okay dark eyes black eyes inverted eyes that's what we're looking for keep your eyes open for someone who has inverted eyes that's the i think they also have dark hair and that's the only features i remember and horns, they're dread. You continue to wander the streets, keeping an eye out for this fixer person. You still have the newspaper, so you can always double check the picture. But it shouldn't be too hard to find someone with inverted eyes, right? Right? Ah, uh, this is hard! How am I supposed to find this guy in this giant city? You continue to look around a bit more. You begin to wonder why you haven't just asked someone yet? If this guy is some big shot, surely someone would know where he might be. You start to make your way to a small group of people talking amongst themselves, when you notice a familiar angel walking down the road nearby. <gasps> Ravi! You push past the group of strangers and run over to Ravi. He looks back at you with wide eyes as he stumbles back in a bit of- a b stumbles back a bit in a slight panic as you run at him like a crazy person. <laughs> what the- he seems to calm down a bit as he notices it's you and he sighs. Oh my goodness. Oh my goddess, Marshy. What are you- Before you can finish the sentence, you hold the new- Before he can finish the sentence, you hold the newspaper out to him. What? Have you heard of this fixer guy? Robbie blinks in confusion and he looks at the paper. Oh, that guy. Yeah, I've heard of him. He's the talk of the town. Do you know where he might be? What makes you think I would know that? He narrows his eyes at you. I don't know the guy personally, I've just heard of him. <sighs> hey! Darn it. But... He thinks for a moment. I think I saw someone who looked like him heading into the woods not too long ago. What? The woods? Mm-hmm. They're just north of here. He may still be there if you want to catch him, he says. Why are you look- Okay, thank you! Bye, Robbie! Robbie stands there, dumbfounded, as he watches you run off. Uh, okay, bye, I guess. You don't look back as you continue to make your way down the path and towards the woods. Towards the woods! This way, right? This is north, I think. I know my cardinal directions for sure. 
Well, that looks like trees. Is that a foresty place over there? Hopefully. Has anyone seen seen this person? They have dark hair. Uh, they're in the news. The newspaper. Yeah. These are farmlands. Am I going the right way? Okay, do you know what? Follow my gut. Gut says follow the path. Oh, wait a minute. What color are your eyes? Turn around! Turn around. Oh! <gasps> mm? You have dark eyes! Okay, hi! Are you the fixer? Oh, uh, ah! Uh, what? <laughs> okay. Hi. hi! Hello! Hello! Okay, <laughs> hi. Are you- So, okay, my friend told me to come get this guy known as the fixer. You were in the paper. The newspaper. Uh, yeah, 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 that- um. <clears throat> Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, uh, my friend needs it sent me to go get some crystals in the mines mm -hmm. somewhere. I don't know where those are. Um, and I, I was like, I don't know how to do that. So he was like, okay, go find this fixer guy, and he might be able to help. And I was like, okay, I'll go do that. And then I was like, wait, I don't know how to find this person. And then I bumped into my other friend, and they were like, oh, yeah, I saw them over here and i was like mm -hmm. okay and then here you are i found you hi i think you are the fixer right i followed none of that but um yeah yeah that's me i i'm the fixer i i fix things you fix that things. that's my um yo ellis what oh you both stare at one another in confusion for eventually hearing a footstep sound behind you crunching through the dirt in the gravel path rex ellis calls where the heck did you go, moron? Uh, uh, Alice, over here! Alice walks up to you both, putting your hands on her hips. You said you were just gonna go grab some stuff for a picnic, she says before glancing at Marshy. Please don't tell me you got caught. What? No, this is entirely unrelated to that! Rex shakes his head. Then, uh, who's this? Alice narrows her eyes. Oh, hi, I'm Marshy. That's a really weird name, Alice admits, turning back to Rex. What's up with you and making friends with the weirdest people? I, 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 I wouldn't call us friends, Rex shrugs. I, I don't really know who she is, but she apparently found me in the paper. Uh, yeah. Uh, like I said, I needed some help with something, and the paper said he was a fixer of, like, problems or something. <laughs> Oh, yeah? Alice puts her hands on her hips. You got money? Alice! Rex whips his head in her direction. What? It's a valid question. You don't work for free. Uh, I do have money, actually. Uh, I hope it's enough. We weren't really sure how much you needed. Marshy takes out a pouch of copper coins, offering it to Rex to look at. Alice looks over his, shoulders as he, uh, over his shoulder as he accepts the pouch and observes the coins inside. Uh, this should be fine. Uh, what did you need help with? Uh, my friend is trying to open a shop. Uh, he needs to get some magic crystals from the mines before he can open it. Uh, we don't really have the money to go out and hire a bunch of professional miners or buy the crystals ourselves, so he told me to ask you for help mining them up. So, another manual labor job. <sighs> well, it's better than nothing, right, Rex? I, I i guess but what about our picnic don't sweat it the picnic can wait just a couple of crystals after all alice shrugs putting her hands behind her head how hard can it be she starts to walk down the path you go in you get the crystals you come back out and we finish our lunch easy peasy i guess yeah rex nods so you'll help sure rex nods again in fact, I know exactly who should talk to first in order to get those crystals. Follow me! Oh, okay. <sighs> I'd like to say we're pretty well acquainted, you know, because uh, uh, I know people, because I'm the uh, fixer, and yeah. 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 Uh, so, uh, you, you heard about me in the paper? Yeah. Huh. Uh... And your friend wants crystals. Uh huh. Apparently, he wants to. And the crystals sell them come from the shop. mines. Yes. Well, all right, okay. 
Well, hopefully we can find them in the mines. I mean, you you mine up crystals, right? I've never gone mining before. That's probably why he sent me to get you, because I don't. I've know never what I'm gotten doing. magic crystals myself before. My, my my magic teacher instead like showed me some, magic and I thought teacher? they were cool. So I'm really eager to see what they're like in the environment. Yeah, she's this like really smart um chick with like a monocle. Uh, a over monocle? in Aurora Alley. Wait, how do monocles yeah. work? How do you like put them on? Do they just balance or do they like tape them to their face? Like, how does it work? Is it magic? Is it a magic monocle? I don't know. Uh, I do wonder like well, how it works though. Is it's like typically when you need glasses, you know, because like bad eyesight, right? Like it typically uh -huh. would affect like both eyes. So like, how would a monocle help? It just I like... guess maybe only one eye is bad. Huh. I should ask her about that sometime. She's got one bad eye. All right, where is she? Hmm. Where is who? Oh, are we looking the for The person someone? I know. Yeah, they might, uh, uh, they should be able to help us get into the mines. I have connections. Oh, okay. I don't know where she is. It's a big district. What is this place called again? Mistral Quarry, I think. There's, these places have names? Aha! Yeah! Here we go. Uh-huh. You both approach the foreman of the mines cautiously. She has her hands on her hips, delegating tasks to several other miners around the area. Alright, come on everyone! Let's get those shipments out to Carpera docks before sundown! The miners respond to her commands positively, picking up the slack and working hard to move crates and operate sh machinery. Hey, Sasha! She glances back in your direction skeptically. When she sees you, however, she grins. Well, well, well. <laughs> Saw you in the paper, Rex. Recently for your efforts. Congrats. Thanks, Rex states, putting his hands on his hips confidently. Looks like you brought some fr new friends with you this time, too. She glances at Alice and Marshy. Uh, hi. I'm Marshy, and you're... Sasha? That's me. Foreman of the min Minstrel. <laughs> Minstrel Quarry Mines. Nice meeting ya. She gives you a rough pat on the back, almost causing you to stumble forward. So, what can I do for you guys today? Ellis waves her hand at you two. You're the ones with the job, you explain it to her. Right, so you know how you were going to give those magic crystals to Penelope? Sasha pauses. I wouldn't say I gave them to her. She paid for that crate. We just mined up the crystals for delivery. Right. Well, let's say hypothetically someone wanted to Go and get the crystals themselves. Uh, what's, 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 what's the story there? Sasha immediately frowns. You want to go into the mines and get your own crystals. Oh, wait, my, hey, it, it bugged. It bugged. Hold on. It <laughs> bugged. Okay. <laughs> what? I mean, he didn't say it was us. Just, you know, in, in general. Then I'd have to decline. Sasha shakes her head. Well, you tried, Rex. But why not? Sasha nods back to one of the cavern entrances. Usually, I'm fine with people going down to the caves for uh, whatever they need, but... It's a different story, currently. She rubs her head. Things aren't exactly going well on our end, so it's within my best interest to keep anyone without qualifications out of those mines. Uh, is there something wrong? Right now, I've already got enough on my plate. I've got all these shipments to send out to different shopkeepers around Arrowwind, not to mention our sellers outside the city. I've got supplies to sort through. I've got miners to delegate. She puts her hand on her temple. And now, apparently, a couple of my guys went missing down in the caves. It's not just the right time for whatever crystal crisis you got going on. Wait, m wait missing? What happened? We're not sure yet. All we know is that a group of four went into the main cavern we've been digging out, and they haven't come back yet. They were due to return over three hours ago. That sounds like a handful, Alice mutters, although her tone wouldn't seem necessarily one of interest. You can say that again. So, until we can try and figure out a way to safely go in there and find them, no one's allowed to enter the mines. Oh, Leon's not going to be happy about this. Rex glances at Alice before looking back at Sasha. Well, then, in that case, why don't you let us go in and find them? What? Well, you need the miners found, and we need the crystals, so... Ahem! Alice nudges Rex. Ow! I, I, I mean, uh, um... <clears throat> I lose out on a paycheck if we don't get to go down there. 
Uh, so I, I don't see where we can help each other here. Those crystals are super important for my friend, too. I kind of really owe him. Marshy clasps her hands together. Rex says the same. Ella stares at you, her expression entirely unamused. Sasha just rubs the back of her neck, considering your proposal. <sighs> All right, then. I'll tell you what. If you manage to go in there and find the missing miners, you can have all the crystals you want from the caves, she states. But, if you want them, you'll also have to mine them up yourselves. Does that seem fair? Yeah, totally! We can help solve your problem and we get the crystals! Mm -hmm. Which means I won't let down Leon and you get paid! Marshy finishes Rex's sentence. Yeah, yeah, it's a win-win all around. Sasha crosses her arms. Just, uh, if you are headed down, make sure you watch out for the monsters. W wait, monsters? What? You remember the one from earlier, right? One you set on fire? <laughs> yeah, there are all kinds of things down there. Some are even bigger and scarier than that one. You'll never know what you'll find hiding away. Lurking in the dark. A shiver runs down your spines. And the deeper you go in the caves, the worse the monsters get. <laughs> That's not even taking into account of the awakening. Going missing is probably just one of the many horrible things that could happen in the caves. The way you're saying all of this so casually is weirding me out, Alice admits. Ha! Huh, okay, uh, maybe we'll need more help. Oh, not man. a bad idea, Sasha states. When you find a couple more people to add to your party, come back and find me. I'll be around. She shrugs her shoulders. I mean, hey, if you do manage to find those miners though and withstand whatever's going down there, you can go back down as many times as you want. I'd say that's a pretty good deal. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna want to go back down there. Uh, let's try to find some help. Hmm. We need help. Do you know a person? We're gonna I mean, need like, maybe... backup. Mm, I don't know. If my friends would be able to help. They're also working on setting up the shop themselves, and I don't want to take them away from that. We're gonna tackle a cave. Hmm. Rex, Marshy, and Ellis so all stand off to the side. All right, we gotta go ahead. We got the go ahead from Sasha, but we need an extra pair of hands that will take on the monsters. Uh, it's, what's the plan? Good question. Come on, we gotta have some ideas here. Rex slouches, leaning forward. You said that a friend told you about me, right? Then why don't we go try to ask that friend or something? Well, he's pretty busy with other things. He's got like a Marshy whole- frowns. My bad. Sorry. <laughs> he's got like a whole shop to try to open. And I don't think anyone else in the house is the fighting type. Hmm. Rex pauses, glancing towards Alice. Wait, Alice, you're the fighting type! What's that supposed to mean? She narrows her eyes at you. Well, you can help us with the mines! Rex says with a grin. Still, his expression falters. Uh, unless you, you can't because of your fire? Her face goes red. Just because I'm running low on fuel here doesn't mean I'm useless, you know! I'll still whoop your butt in 10 seconds flat! So, you'll help us? Heck no. She shakes her head, crossing her arms and looking away. What? Why not? Come on, please! No way! She stubbornly holds her ground. You know me, Rex. I don't do crap for anyone. I don't care if a bunch of miners are stuck underground or whatever. They've got tools. They can dig their way out. But what if they can't? Then maybe they shouldn't have become miners! Alice throws her hands up in the air. I don't know what to tell you, but a couple of missing workers aren't my problem. That's the quarry's problem. That's the foreman's problem. Not mine. Nuh-uh. Rex frowns. But without you, the job- There are easier jobs out there, Rex. You know that. There are better ways to make money than whatever is waiting for you in those caves. You're not getting paid enough for this job to be worth it. Just... Try to be smart about this. <laughs> Alright, if that's what you think, then I can't force you. Rex crosses his arms. But I'm still gonna help! It's not just about the miners or money. What else could it possibly be about? Alice narrows her eyes. Uh, 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 uh. Rex pauses. He glances at the ground, trying to think of his next words carefully. Integrity. I don't, I don't even know what 
that means. Oh my god! Ellis face palms, hanging your head. All right, you know what? You do you, Rex. But I'm not involved in this. I'm gonna go back and clean up the picnic spot. She turns away. If you want to waste your time trying to save those miners for a couple of copper coins, then be my guest. I'll be waiting back at the inn when you're done. Your shoulders sag at Alice's response as she begins to walk away. That went well. Rex groans. Ugh, alright, we're gonna need a new plan then. If Alice isn't going to help us, I'm gonna find someone else. Someone good with beating up monsters. Suddenly, an idea pops into his brain. Hey! Beating up monsters, that's it! Idea? Let's go! <gasps> wait, 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 wait! I've got a genius I'm scheme! Gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm hungry! <laughs> I didn't bring any cookies with me. I wasn't allowed to take any. <laughs> It's a grand plan. We don't need food. We can get food later. Wait, wait, I ran out of stamina. No! <laughs> Hold on, crap. Where's she gonna be? I don't remember. Wait, how are you out of stamina? <laughs> I was hungry. <laughs> Alright, come on. <sighs> I have one friend who is highly capable and really skilled. Okay, okay. It's not the one that just ran away. No, uh, that one also highly capable and really skilled, but also just really doesn't like helping. This one likes helping. Okay, okay. Like a whole lot. All right, um, crap, where is she? She, okay. uh, needs at a place that I do not remember the location. She told me one time, um, and I forgot it. You we know what? Someone. We're gonna brave roads. We're gonna brave unknown roads, and that's how we'll find it. Okay, oh, I mean, I do that every day in this city, even when, even when I'm trying is to find it? places. Is this it? I think it's this. I think it's this. This seems like the thing that just got described to me the other day. Is it this? Is it this? There are training pits, people this? are fighting. This is it! All right, come on! <laughs> Wait, 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 Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. In, in. Oh. Lily! Lily, Lily, Lily! Lily, 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 Is she an anime? Lily, we need you! Those are not real. Wait, what? They're real in the real, like, metal sense. But they're not, like, my- Oh, oh! You all glance at one another. The bar of the Hunters Association goes entirely quiet, looking directly at you. Hey, I remember that guy. <laughs> Lydia laughs a bit, taking another sip of her drink. You call everyone dude and man, right? Yep. Thank you, Lydia. What are you guys doing here? We came here for you! We got a job! Sort of. Well, okay, it's kind of complicated. A job, huh? Hawk raises an eyebrow behind Lily. Looks like your friends here have some good timing. What do you mean it's complicated? Lily asks, confused. I mean, like, I, I'm currently trying to do a job for her, but to do the job for her, we have to ask you to take a job from... both of us? Rex explains awkwardly. Uh, we need a... a, a person. A hunter person? <laughs> Who is this? Lily points to Marshy. Oh, uh, right, I'm Marshy! Hi. She hired me. Rex also points at Marshy. I I need him for crystals for my friend. But, open. Yeah. Uh, you, crystals? Yeah, from the mines. Apparently, she was a friend of hers, and that friend told her about me. So she asked me to help her for money. But it turns out that the mines are a little more dangerous than we thought. Apparently, four miners went missing down there. Wait, seriously? Lily's eyes widen. Why didn't you just start with that? That seems pretty important. Oh. Right. Rex realizes awkwardly. But anyway, if we want to go down there and help the miners, we need some help. There's a lot of monsters that lurk in the caves. That's what Sasha says, at least. Lily's eyes glitter at the idea. Missing miners and lots of monsters, huh? Lydia whistles, impressed. Someone's lucky! Lily glances back at Lydia and Hawk, a hopeful glow returning to her eyes. She turns back to Rex and Marshy. So, you want me to come with you to take care of the monsters and find the miners? Duh. You're kind of the only official hunter I know. I mean, besides that one girl from the other day. And then Hawk guy, but it feels weird asking the leader of the hunting guild to be a chaperone. You hear Hawk chuckle at Rex's statement. Huh. Alright. Yeah. But seriously? Awesome! Let's do this! Good luck, Lily! 
Lydia waves her drink in the air... supportively? Be careful. Those mines can be difficult to traverse, and the creatures that hide in the darkness are no joke. But, I'm sure you'll be fine. You're plenty capable of taking care of yourself. Hopefully those guys are still okay down there. Thanks, Hawk. And thanks, Lydia. Uh, let's get going, guys. Cool! New mission! Woo! Woo I'm freezing! What happened? I, I think I loaded in like 30 skins. Oh, anyway. Me too. Um, I, I <laughs> so I have a question. I have multiple questions, actually. First question. Uh, hunters, are they like... Are they also like guards? Because there's those guards, like that guy. But then they hunt things. They hunt. Uh, things. these are all hunters. Oh, right they're actual here. hunters. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. They like fight monsters and monster stuff. Monster hunters. Oh, Miley punched the crap out of a monster, monster and then the big right? leader guy was all like, "Hey, I want you to join my guild where we punch the crap <laughs> okay. out of monsters." Right. And Miley was like, "Heck yeah, I could punch monsters!" So now she's here to punch more monsters. That's not oh, exactly yeah. how it Second went down, question, but uh. Um, Bunny ears, but not bunny? They're made of metal! I think she can tell that. That's all I got, too. Oh, I... I'm not an animan, if that's what you're wondering, but you... I am. ...seem to be? I'm fluffy. Whoa... My friend told me I was tail. a fox. Well, Did ah. you only just notice that? Sorry. Well, I was kind of preoccupied. She ran at me saying, like, a lot of words that I didn't understand. But she said fixer, and I understood that. Mm-hmm. You... You get into trouble a lot. You're supposed to be the fixer. Your fixer's not supposed to get in trouble. I, I, I fix the trouble. That, that's what I, the trouble the I get trouble? in Wait, the trouble that, that I fix. Is that you Because you fix the trouble that you cause? That's well, I don't cause it, I just get into it, it's like, it's like, you know, there's an no, issue no, that no, happens, no, happens. I get involved, I fix it, you know, I'm like fixing, I'm the fixer. Miners are missing, correct? Oh, yes. Yes, four of them. Then we're gonna have to fix that, okay? Fixer! So how about yeah. we go on to fixing, hmm? We, fi not, we, we fix the miners, then we, we fix the crystals, and no, we fix finding, the mines! We're finding the miners. We're finding the miners. Fi finding miners, that's the, the fix- the fi the I'm trying to figure out how to incorporate the fixing them. tagline. Uh, I don't know we fix the problem by finding the miners, there you go. I don't know why your friend called me that. That Ashford guy. I couldn't tell you. He doesn't have a nice bone in his body. Huh. That's a lie. He's actually somewhat alright, I guess. <laughs> Please don't fight the miners. No, we're finding the miners. We're finding the miners. We're, we're fixing the miners. No, we are not fixing the miners. There's well, nothing to fix. they'll need to be fixed. They'll need to be healed. They'll need to be healed. We're not fixing we're just anyone. fixing them. Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah. Now there's two of you. All right, but what do you think mines are like? You know, I can't remember the last time I've ever been inside caves. I don't think I've ever think... been inside of a cave before. Uh, have I been? Inside? Yes, we are finding I you, mean, Queen. I went, I went on a cave trip, and and it was like it was like a little tour Thanks once. For the that was fun. Thank you for the hydrate. Man, lucky! I've only ever seen them on like TV shows and stuff. I've never, I've never been actually to, been like... inside of a hmm. cave. Well, okay. I've never been to a I functional have. mining area. I've only been to one that's like abandoned. Mm -hmm. Right, you I told me about, about that. It. That was the one with the mushrooms. mushrooms. Yeah. Do you think there's gonna be mushrooms? I don't know about that. This seems like a very industrialized area. Dang, man. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't want to crush your dreams. I... That's cool. We're gonna find yeah, cool magic sorry. crystals. I want to see what growing oh. magic crystals look Wait, like. Yeah, that wasn't in the place I went to. Do. Ooh. So this will be I never got to too. use magic. Oh, I, I used the magic crystal to make a cool water spell. Magic crystals! <gasps> How long have we been missing so for? Gonna the be miners? so excited. The miners? I don't... They were supposed to come back a few hours ago, but they haven't yet. Okay, okay, not long then. That's good. That's good. Oh, okay. I'm just trying to get information on it. Mm-hmm. Oh, we just gotta find Sasha around here. Last I checked, she was- oh yeah, up there. Hmm? She's at the fork in the road. Alright. Oh! Oh, I see. We met her last time we were here, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You all approach Sasha as a team. She continues to delegate tasks around the area. 
We don't need the crane for this. Come on, people. Get those rocks into crates already. The Smiths of Erwin are waiting for those supplies. Sasha, we're back. Rex calls out. And we got ourselves all into this time. Sasha glances back at you all. Her eyes land on Lily, and she raises an eyebrow. Oh, Lily, Long time no see. Hey, Sasha. Rex and Marcy filled me in. Mm-hmm. They said miners are missing, right? Uh, could you tell me anything else to work off of? I pretty much gave your two friends the whole story. Sent some miners down there this morning, and they were supposed to come back up a few hours ago. Obviously, they haven't. Now the entire quarry is practically shut down while I try to figure out what happened and how to get them back out. I don't want to send any more of my people down there and risk losing them too. She puts her hands on her hips. That's where you guys come in. Right! We'll make sure they're okay. And we get those crystals right while we're here. Mm -hmm. Well, looks like it works out for any everyone then. <laughs> uh, do you know what we could expect to see in the mines? With certainty? No. Sasha shakes her head. Remember that big crystal-eating monster from a couple of days ago? I've never heard of anything like it coming out of those caves. The Awakening could have riled up any number of unseen creatures down there. She pauses, looking at you all as you shiver at the thought. She laughs. <laughs> Come on, no need to start shaking. You'll be fine. You got a capable hunter with you, right? They really seem to like you here, Lily. You've got that right. Actually, I'm pretty glad that she's the one you decided to bring with you. I know for a fact now that those miners down there will be in good hands. <laughs> Thanks, Sasha. I really appreciate that. <laughs> Miley smiles kindly. So, uh, how do we get down? I can go ahead and show you the way. Follow me. Sasha begins to walk off, motioning with her head for you all to follow her. Oh, okay. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. It's actually nice to be in a place of people I'm that so actually excited. like I'm me. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. You're excited to We're going into a cave. fight creepy monsters? Well, they can't be excited that for creepy. that, but there now I got backup. There can't be as bad as the giant cow that I fought. It worked out pretty well last time we fought together. A giant cow? Yeah. Wait, what? So, me and my friends, we kind of got into a kerfuffle with a giant cow. A kerfuffle. kerfuffle? Yeah, it's a funny word. <laughs> but right. it, it, we, we, we took it out. I used this thing. Man, I wish I fought a oh. Is that a boomerang? Uh-huh. Use the stick? No, I hey, threw it at the cow. Don't, you, you, don't go on about how bad sticks are. Sticks can be powerful. Uh-huh. I did, I well, did also- I, I fought a- I wish I could have fought a giant cow. I got stuck fighting a giant squid. What?! An yeah, oversized I squid. I a giant I mushroom. I wanna fight a giant squid? No, you don't. That thing was big. Actually, and I mean, feel like... it was mean. Oh, wait, hold on, how big was it? Like, like, it's cool. Like this big, closer. but bigger. Oh, never mind. I don't want to fight that. That's too big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I fought a giant mushroom, and that was. Whoa, you're funny. right. Look a at that killer mushroom? view. Yeah, Ooh. it's very pretty. Oh wait, wow. wait, look at that. It's like a little like pallet, and there's a giant rope. Wow, wow. Like a big rope. <laughs> Ooh, clean. It's like a zip line. Oh, have you ever been on a zip yeah. line? <gasps> no, but that is a killer zip line. You think we can get on if we ask? I no, can we no, go absolutely line? not. Absolutely. There's well, you could use the stick. You now. could use the no, stick as a zip line. No. That will break on your weight. Absolutely not. Well, well no, I we mean, haven't tried it, yet. It was pretty durable against the giant cow. Yeah, see, it's cow tested. Uh huh, uh huh. Cow tested. Okay. Oh, we're being um, waited on. Oh. Oh. Our bad. Sorry oh, about God, that. Please. Whoa. Mm -hmm. We're going up. Oh, These are scary are going, stairs. I don't want to fall. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. I don't want to fall. I don't want to fall. Okay. Oh, <gasps> there's Check this buildings out. inside wow. the mountain. That is really cool. That is killer. Killer cow? <laughs> <laughs> Where'd really? she go? Oh, she oh, went this oh. way. Oh, down. Going back down? Wait. It's a little confusing. Ow. 
I'm fine. Okay. You okay? Look I, at the I crane! You know what? I know how to operate these now. You do? Oh, yeah. that is true. He kind of saved me the Can we go all the way up there? Because look, look, there's a thing up there. We could ride down it. Wait, that's the start of the zip line. Uh huh. Uh -huh. No, no zip line, guys. We, we, missing miners. Missing right, miners. Missing miners. Right, right, miners right, right, right. first, oh, zip line later. My. All right, fine. No zip line. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Where are we going? We're like going across. Wouldn't mines be down? There's a river. Look at the waterfall. Oh, Ooh, Ooh, pretty. that is pretty. <gasps> Look, it's a cave entrance. You can see the zip lines really well from here. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're right. There's two of them. There is a second is one way back yeah. there. I guess that's fair. This is pretty expansive. Whoa. Wow. What's this? Oh. Stasha motions the wooden elevator in the center of the cavern. This is our major elevator shaft here. It leads directly into the largest caverns under the city of Erwin. The majority of our resources are produced from these caves, as well as the number of the magic crystals we distribute amongst the arcane circle. And that's where the miners went missing? And that's correct. A group of four miners went down there this morning, and they were due to come back up a couple of hours ago. Obviously, that didn't happen. She crosses her arms, looking back at all of you. You sure you're up for this? Like I said, these mines aren't a joke. Even with a hunter like Lily on your team, I want to make sure you know what's going... I That you know what you're getting into. Yeah, I think I have an idea. I'll make sure things go smoothly, okay? Don't worry. Alright then. <laughs> I'm counting on you, and a deal is a deal. She looks back at Marshy and Rex. If you can bring back those miners, you get to keep any of those crystals that you find down there. And we can come back in the future? You'll have proven to me that you're plenty capable of handling yourselves down there. Sasha that, speaks with a shrug. If that happens, you can go down whenever you want. No questions asked. It's a deal. Don't worry about a thing, Sasha. Sasha looks over your brigade one last time, skeptically. However, she eventually tears her gaze away, looking back at the elevator. Alright then. Let me go ahead and help you guys down. Just step on the elevator whenever you're ready. It'll bring us down. Alright. Thanks again, Sasha. Let's do this. Killer! I am eager to get on an elevator. Look at the cave! That is it's only a cave. Be funny if they're not dead. Oh. What? You well, said they're, be they're fine. Let's not think about that. I'm sure they're fine. They're just waiting for someone to help them, hey. right? Yeah, I'm sure that's it. Okay. Maybe they got stuck down there or something. I want to be first. What? Oh. <laughs> close the door. I can't close the door. There we go. There we Ooh. go. Sasha glances at you all. You sure you're ready to go? We're ready, right? I think so. I... Yeah, I... I think so. Hey, let's get going! Mm -hmm. Alright then. Sasha <laughs> grins. Keep your arms inside of the confines of the elevator at all times, and try not to jump out or around either. She reaches for a nearby lever, her arm flexing as she pulls it down. The entire wooden contraption lurches before it slowly starts to descend into the darkness below. 